The unified neutral theory of biodiversity and biogeography here unified theory or UNTB is a hypothesis and the title of a monograph by ecologist Stephen Hubble. The hypothesis aims to explain the diversity and relative abundance of species in ecological communities. Although, like other neutral theories of ecology, Hubble's hypothesis assumes that the differences between members of an ecological community of trophically similar species are neutral, or irrelevant to their success. This implies that biodiversity arises at random, as each species follows a random walk. The hypothesis has sparked controversy, and some authors consider it a more complex version of other null models that fit the data better. Neutrality means that at a given trophic level in a food web, species are equivalent in birth rates, death rates, dispersal rates, and speciation rates, when measured on a per capita basis. This can be considered a null hypothesis to niche theory. Hubble built on earlier neutral concepts, including MacArthur and Wilson's theory of island biogeography and Gold's concepts of symmetry and null models. An ecological community is a group of trophically similar, sympatric species that actually or potentially compete in a local area for the same or similar resources. Under the unified theory, complex ecological interactions are permitted among individuals of an ecological community such as competition and cooperation, provided that all individuals obey the same rules. Asymmetric phenomena such as parasitism and predation are ruled out by the terms of reference, but cooperative strategies such as swarming, and negative interactions such as competing for limited food or light are allowed so long as all individuals behave in the same way. The unified theory also makes predictions that have profound implications for the management of biodiversity, especially the management of rare species. The theory predicts the existence of a fundamental biodiversity constant, conventionally written theta, that appears to govern species richness on a wide variety of spatial and temporal scales. Topic: <laughs> Saturation. Although not strictly necessary for a neutral theory, many stochastic models of biodiversity assume a fixed, finite community size. There are unavoidable physical constraints on the total number of individuals that can be packed into a given space although space per se isn't necessarily a resource, it is often a useful surrogate variable for a limiting resource that is distributed over the landscape. Examples would include sunlight or hosts, in the case of parasites. If a wide range of species are considered say, giant sequoia trees and duckweed, two species that have very different saturation densities, then the assumption of constant community size might not be very good, because density would be higher if the smaller species were monodominant. However, because the unified theory refers only to communities of trophically similar, competing species, it is unlikely that population density will vary too widely from one place to another. Hubble considers the fact that population densities are constant and interprets it as a general principle. Large landscapes are always biotically saturated with individuals. Hubble thus treats communities as being of a fixed number of individuals, usually denoted by J. Exceptions to the saturation principle include disturbed ecosystems such as the Serengeti, where saplings are trampled by elephants and blue wildebeests, or gardens, where certain species are systematically removed. Topic. Species abundances When abundance data on natural populations are collected, two observations are almost universal. The most common species accounts for a substantial fraction of the individuals sampled. A substantial fraction of the species sampled are very rare. Indeed, a substantial fraction of the species sampled are singletons, that is, species which are sufficiently rare for only a single individual to have been sampled. Such observations typically generate a large number of questions. Why are the rare species rare? Why is the most abundant species so much more abundant than the median species abundance? A non-neutral explanation for the rarity of rare species might suggest that rarity is a result of poor adaptation to local conditions. The UNTB implies that such considerations may be neglected from the perspective of population biology because the explanation cited implies that the rare species behaves differently from the abundant species. Species composition in any community will change randomly with time. However, any particular abundance structure will have an associated probability. The UNTB predicts that the probability of a community of J individuals composed of S distinct species with abundances n 
1 display style n underscore 1 for species 1 n 2 display style n underscore 2 for species 2 and so on up to n s display style n underscore s for species s is given by pr n 1 n 2 n s theta j equals j theta s 1 phi 1 2 phi 2 j phi j phi 1 phi 2 phi j pi k equals 1 j theta plus k minus 1 Display style PR and underscore one and underscore two L dots and underscore S theta J equals FRAC J theta carrot S one carrot phi underscore one two carrot phi underscore two C D O T S J carrot phi underscore J phi underscore one phi underscore two C D O T S phi underscore J pi underscore K equals one carrot J theta plus K minus one where theta equals two J new display style theta equals two J new is the fundamental biodiversity number new display style new is the speciation rate and Phi I display style Phi underscore I is the number of species that have I individuals in the sample this equation shows that the UNTB implies a non-trivial dominance diversity equilibrium between speciation and extinction. As an example, consider a community with 10 individuals and 3 species A, B, and C with abundances 3, 6 and 1 respectively. Then the formula above would allow us to assess the likelihood of different values of theta. There are thus S equals 3 species and phi 1 equals phi 3 equals phi 6 equals 1 display style phi underscore 1 equals phi underscore 3 equals phi underscore 6 equals 1 all other phi display style phi s being 0 the formula would give pr 3 6 1 theta 10 equals 10 theta 3 1 1 3 1 6 1 1 1 1 theta theta plus 1 theta plus 2 theta plus 9 display style pr 3 6 1 theta 10 equals frac 10 theta caret 3 1 caret 1 c d o t 3 caret 1 c d o t 6 caret 1 c d o t 1 1 1 c d o t theta theta plus 1 theta plus 2 c d o t s theta plus 9 which could be maximized to yield an estimate for theta in practice numerical methods are used the maximum likelihood estimate for theta is about 1.1478 we could have labeled the species another way and counted the abundances being 1 3 6 instead or 3 1 6 etc etc logic tells us that the probability of observing a pattern of abundances will be the same observing any permutation of those abundances here we would have pr 3 3 6 1 equals PR 3 1 3 6 equals PR 
3 3 1 6 display style pr 3 3 6 1 equals pr 3 1 3 6 equals pr 3 3 1 6 and so on to account for this it is helpful to consider only ranked abundances that is to sort the abundances before inserting into the formula a ranked dominance diversity configuration is usually written as pr s r 1 r 2 r s 0 0 Display style PRS R underscore one R underscore two L dots R underscore S zero L dots zero where R I Display style R underscore I is the abundance of the ITH most abundant species R one Display style R underscore one is the abundance of the most abundant R two Display style r underscore two, the abundance of the second most abundant species, and so on. For convenience, the expression is usually padded with enough zeros to ensure that there are j species. The zeros indicating that the extra species have zero abundance. It is now possible to determine the expected abundance of the ith most abundant species e r i equals k equals 1 c r i k p r s r 1 r 2 r s 0 0 display style e r underscore i equals sum underscore k equals 1 caret c r underscore i k c d o t p r s r underscore 1 r underscore 2 l dots r underscore s 0 l dots 0 where c is the total number of configurations R I K display style R underscore I K is the abundance of the I T H ranked species in the K T H configuration, and P R display style P R L dots is the dominance diversity probability. This formula is difficult to manipulate mathematically, but relatively simple to simulate computationally. The model discussed so far is a model of a regional community, which Hubble calls the meta community. Hubble also acknowledged that on a local scale, dispersal plays an important role. For example, seeds are more likely to come from nearby parents than from distant parents. Hubble introduced the parameter m, which denotes the probability of immigration in the local community from the metacommunity. If m equals 1, dispersal is unlimited, the local community is just a random sample from the metacommunity and the formulas above apply. If m it has been shown that phi n display style wrangle phi underscore n wrangle the expected number of species with abundance n may be calculated by theta j n j minus n gamma 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 j plus gamma y equals zero gamma gamma n plus y gamma 1 plus y gamma j minus n plus gamma minus y gamma gamma minus y exp minus y theta gamma d y display style theta frac j n j n frac gamma 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 j plus gamma in underscore y equals zero caret gamma frac gamma n plus y gamma one plus y frac gamma j n plus gamma y gamma gamma y exp y theta gamma die where theta is the fundamental biodiversity number j the community size gamma display style gamma is the gamma function and gamma equals j minus 1 m 1 minus m 
Display style gamma equals j one m one m. This formula is, however, an approximation. The correct formula is derived in a series of papers reviewed and synthesized by Etienne and Alonso, 2005. Theta i j j n o one i x n i one minus x j minus n one minus x theta minus one x dx. Display style frac theta i underscore j j choose n int underscore zero caret one x underscore n i one x underscore j n frac one x caret theta minus one x dx where i equals j minus one m one minus m display style i equals j one asterisk m one m is a parameter that measures dispersal limitation phi n display style wrangle phi underscore n wrangle is zero for n greater than j as there cannot be more species than individuals. This formula is important because it allows a quick evaluation of the unified theory. It is not suitable for testing the theory. For this purpose, the appropriate likelihood function should be used. For the meta community, this was given above. For the local community with dispersal limitation, it is given by PR N 1 N 2 N S theta M J equals J I equals one S N I J equals one J Phi J theta S I J A equals S J K D A I A theta A Display style PR and underscore one and underscore two L dots and underscore S theta M J equals FRAC J prod underscore I equals one carrot S and underscore I prod underscore J equals one carrot J phi underscore J FRAC theta carrot S I underscore J sum underscore A equals S carrot J K over right arrow D A FRAC I carrot a theta underscore A here the K D a display style K over right arrow D A four a equals S J display style A equals S J are coefficients fully determined by the data being defined as K D a equals one A S I equals one S A I equals A I equals one S S N I A I S A I one S N I one Display style K over right arrow D A equals sum underscore a underscore one a underscore s sum underscore i equals one carrot s a underscore i equals a prod underscore i equals one carrot s frac overline s left and underscore i a underscore i right overline s left a underscore i one right overline s left and underscore i one right. This seemingly complicated formula involves Stirling numbers and Pockhammer symbols, but can be easily calculated. An example of a species abundance curve can be found in Scientific American. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Stochastic modeling of species abundances under the UNTB. UNTB distinguishes between a dispersal limited local community of size J display style J and a so-called meta community from which species can re-immigrate and which acts as a heat bath to the local community. 
The distribution of species in the metacommunity is given by a dynamic equilibrium of speciation and extinction. Both community dynamics are modeled by appropriate urn processes, where each individual is represented by a ball with a color corresponding to its species. With a certain rate R R Randomly chosen individuals reproduce, i.e. add another ball of their own color to the urn. Since one basic assumption is saturation, this reproduction has to happen at the cost of another random individual from the urn which is removed. At a different rate, mu mu single individuals in the metacommunity are replaced by mutants of an entirely new species. Hubble calls this simplified model for speciation a point mutation, using the terminology of the neutral theory of molecular evolution. The urn scheme for the metacommunity of J M display style J underscore M individuals is the following. At each time step, take one of the two possible actions with probability one minus new display style one new draw an individual at random and replace another random individual from the urn with a copy of the first one with probability new display style new draw an individual and replace it with an individual of a new species note that the size j m display style j underscore m of the metacommunity does not change note also that this is a point process in time the length of the time steps is distributed exponentially for simplicity one can however assume that each time step is as long as the mean time between two changes which can be derived from the reproduction and mutation rates r display style r and mu display style mu the probability new display style new is given as new equals mu r plus mu display style new equals mu r plus mu the species abundance distribution for this urn process is given by Ewens's sampling formula which was originally derived in 1972 for the distribution of allele under neutral mutations the expected number s m n display style s underscore m n of species in the metacommunity having exactly n display style n individuals as s m n equals theta n gamma j m plus 1 gamma j m plus theta minus n gamma j m plus 1 minus n gamma j m plus theta Display style s underscore m n equals frac theta n frac gamma j underscore m plus one gamma j underscore m plus theta n gamma j underscore m plus one n gamma j underscore m plus theta, where theta equals j m minus one new one minus new approximately equals j m new display style theta equals j underscore m minus 1 new 1 new approximately j underscore m new is called the fundamental biodiversity number for large metacommunities and n j m Display style n l l j underscore m. One recovers the Fisher log series as species distribution. S m n approximately equals theta n j m j m plus theta n 
Display style s underscore m n approximately frac theta n left frac j underscore m j underscore m plus theta right caret n. The Ernst scheme for the local community of fixed size j display style j is very similar to the one for the meta community. At each time step, take one of the two actions with probability one minus M display style 1m draw an individual at random and replace another random individual from the urn with a copy of the first one with probability M display style M replace a random individual with an immigrant drawn from the meta community the meta community is changing on a much larger time scale and is assumed to be fixed during the evolution of the local community the resulting distribution of species in the local community and expected values depend on four parameters: j, display style j, j m, display style j underscore m, theta, display style theta, and m, display style m, or i, display style i, and are derived in Etienne and Alonso, 2005, including several simplifying limit cases like the one presented in the previous section. They're called phi n, display style Langle phi underscore n wrangle. The parameter m display style m is a dispersal parameter. If m equals one display style m equals one, then the local community is just a sample from the meta community. For m equals zero display style m equals zero, the local community is completely isolated from the meta community, and all species will go extinct except one. This case has been analyzed by Hubble himself. The case 0 m 1 display style 0 is characterized by a unimodal species distribution in a Preston diagram and often fitted by a log normal distribution. This is understood as an intermediate state between domination of the most common species and a sampling from the meta community where singleton species are most abundant. UNTB thus predicts that in dispersal limited communities rare species become even rarer. The log normal distribution describes the maximum and the abundance of common species very well but underestimates the number of very rare species considerably which becomes only apparent for very large sample sizes. <laughs> <laughs> species area relationships The unified theory unifies biodiversity, as measured by species abundance curves, with biogeography, as measured by species area curves. Species area relationships show the rate at which species diversity increases with area. The topic is of great interest to conservation biologists in the design of reserves, as it is often desired to harbor as many species as possible. The most commonly encountered relationship is the power law given by S equals C A Z display style s equals C A caret Z, where s is the number of species found, a is the area sampled, and c and z are constants. This relationship, with different constants, has been found to fit a wide range of empirical data. From the perspective of unified theory, it is convenient to consider s as a function of total community size j. Then s equals K J Z display style s equals K J caret Z for some constant k, and if this relationship were exactly true, the species area line would be straight on log scales. It is typically found that the curve is not straight, but the slope changes from being steep at small areas, shallower at intermediate areas, and steep at the largest areas. The formula for species composition may be used to calculate the expected number of species present in a community under the assumptions of the unified theory. In symbols e s theta j equals theta theta plus theta theta plus 1 plus theta theta plus 2 plus plus theta theta plus j minus 1 
Display style e left s theta j right equals frac theta theta plus frac theta theta plus one plus frac theta theta plus two plus c d o t s plus frac theta theta plus j minus one, where theta is the fundamental biodiversity number. This formula specifies the expected number of species sampled in a community of size j. The last term theta theta plus j minus 1 display style theta theta plus j minus 1 is the expected number of new species encountered when adding one new individual to the community this is an increasing function of theta and a decreasing function of j as expected by making the substitution j equals rho Display style j equals rho a. See section on saturation above. Then the expected number of species becomes sigma theta theta plus rho a minus one. Display style sigma theta theta plus rho a one. The formula above may be approximated to an integral giving s theta equals 1 plus theta lane 1 plus j minus 1 theta display style s theta equals 1 plus theta lane left 1 plus frac j1 theta right this formulation is predicated on a random placement of individuals Topic. Example Consider the following synthetic dataset of 27 individuals A A A A A A A A A A B B B B C C C C D D D D E F G H I There are thus 27 individuals of 9 species A 2 I in the sample Tabulating this would give A B C D E F G H I 1 0 4 4 4 1 1 1 1 1 Indicating that species A is the most abundant with 10 individuals and species E 2 I are singletons. Tabulating the table gives Species abundance 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 1 0 Number of species 5003000001 On the second row, the 5 in the first column means that 5 species, species E through I, have abundance 1. The following two zeros in columns 2 and 3 mean that 0 species have abundance 2 or 3. The 3 in column 4 means that 3 species, species B, C, and D, have abundance 4. The final one in column 10 means that one species, species A, has abundance 10. This type of dataset is typical in biodiversity studies. Observe how more than half the biodiversity as measured by species count is due to singletons. For real datasets, the species abundances are binned into logarithmic categories, usually using base 2, which gives bins of abundance 0 to 1, abundance 1 to 2, abundance 2 to 4, abundance 4 to 8, etc. Such abundance classes are called octaves. Early developers of this concept included F. W. Preston and histograms showing number of species as a function of abundance octave are known as Preston diagrams. These bins are not mutually exclusive. A species with abundance 4, for example, could be considered as lying in the 2 to 4 abundance class or the 4 to 8 abundance class. Species with an abundance of an exact power of 2, i.e. 2, 4, 8, 16, etc., are conventionally considered as having 50% membership in the lower abundance class, 50% membership in the upper class. Such species are thus considered to be evenly split between the two adjacent classes apart from singletons which are classified into the rarest category. Thus in the example above, the Preston abundances would be Abundance class 1 1 2 2 4 4 8 8 1 6 Species 501.5 1.51 
The three species of abundance 4 thus appear, 1.5 in abundance class 2 to 4, and 1.5 in 4 to 8. The above method of analysis cannot account for species that are unsampled, that is, species sufficiently rare to have been recorded zero times. Preston diagrams are thus truncated at zero abundance. Preston called this the veil line and noted that the cutoff point would move as more individuals are sampled. <laughs> Dynamics under neutral hypothesis All biodiversity patterns previously described are related to time-independent quantities. However, for biodiversity evolution and species preservation, it is crucial to compare the dynamics of ecosystems with models Lee, 2007. An easily accessible index of the underlying evolution is the so-called species turnover distribution STD, defined as the probability p r t that the population of any species has varied by a fraction r after a given time t. A neutral model that can analytically predict both the relative species abundance RSA at steady state and the STD at time t has been presented in Azale et al., 2006. Within this framework the population of any species is represented by a continuous random variable x, whose evolution is governed by the following Langevin equation x equals b minus x tau plus d x she t display style dot x equals bx tau plus sqrt dx she t where b is the immigration rate from a large regional community minus x tau display style x tau represents competition for finite resources and d is related to demographic stochasticity she t display style she t is a gaussian white noise the model can also be derived as a continuous approximation of a master equation where birth and death rates are independent of species and predicts that at steady state the rsa is simply a gamma distribution from the exact time dependent solution of the previous equation one can exactly calculate the std at time t under stationary conditions p R T equals a lambda plus one lambda e t tau b two d one minus e minus t tau sin t two Tau Lambda B D plus one four Lambda two Lambda plus one two E T Tau minus four Lambda B D plus one Two Display style P R T equals A F R A C Lambda plus one Lambda F R A C E carrot T Tau carrot B two D one E carrot T Tau left F R A C sin F R A C T two Tau Lambda right carrot F R A C B D plus one left F R A C four Lambda carrot two Lambda plus one carrot two E carrot T Tau minus four Lambda right carrot F R A C B D plus F R A C one two. This formula provides good fits of data collected in the Barro Colorado tropical forest from 1990 to 2000. From the best fit, one can estimate tau display style tau approximately 3,500 years with a broad uncertainty due to the relative short time interval of the sample. This parameter can be interpreted as the relaxation time of the system, i.e. the time the system needs to recover from a perturbation of species distribution. In the same framework, the estimated mean species lifetime is very close to the fitted temporal scale tau 
This suggests that the neutral assumption could correspond to a scenario in which species originate and become extinct on the same timescales of fluctuations of the whole ecosystem. Topic: <laughs> Testing the theory. The theory has provoked much controversy as it abandons the role of ecology when modeling ecosystems. The theory has been criticized as it requires an equilibrium, yet climatic and geographical conditions are thought to change too frequently for this to be attained. Tests on bird and tree abundance data demonstrate that the theory is usually a poorer match to the data than alternative null hypotheses that use fewer parameters a log normal model with two tunable parameters, compared to the neutral theories three, and are thus more parsimonious. The theory also fails to describe coral reef communities and is a poor fit to data in intertidal communities. It also fails to explain why families of tropical trees have statistically highly correlated numbers of species in phylogenetically unrelated and geographically distant forest plots in Central and South America, Africa, and Southeast Asia. While the theory has been heralded as a valuable tool for paleontologists, little work has so far been done to test the theory against the fossil record. See also Biodiversity Action Plan Functional Equivalence ecology, Ewens's Sampling Formula Metabolic Theory of Ecology Neutral Theory of Molecular Evolution Warren Ewens <laughs>